Hello friends, so welcome back. Now in this video I'm going to work with the login and register. I'm going to add them in the, the logic in, in the auth.js store. So if you go, first let's go in the login.view. Here we have this get token, but we don't need because in the auth.js we have the get token then. Let's remove this and now we need to move the handle login. So let's cut this from here and let's go in the auth.js and let's create a new method here. But this is not going to be const, it's going to be an async function. like this and it's going to need to have the data because right now we have email form value.email so let's add the data here and then we say here that just add data.email like this data.email and also the same for the password so data dot password we get the data here and also we need the, the push back but for now let's remove and let's also remove this we have this await the get token and we can say uh, this dot get token we have the get token in here and also let's uh, await here so we get the token in here and we have handle login we call this get token then we await to post the login data okay Now we need to add that router push. So when we log in, uh, router push to the home page, we need to go to the home page. But here we don't have access to the router. If we go inside the mind.js, first we need to import from view the marker row. So let's say, yeah, like this. Then let's. Uh, come down here or just right here I'm going to say pina dot use and here we need to use the router inside this we need to distract the store and I'm going to say here store not like this, but st store like this, store dot router. It's going to be equal with that. We have imported the marker row and the router we have in here. So now by saying this, pinya use now we have access to this router in our uh, our JS store and we can access that router by saying this dot router and we can say dot push and where we want to send that save and let's go inside the login dot view here we don't need now the router, we don't need also the user router, we don't need the Axios, we need only the ref because we need to create this form here. And let's import the store. So let's, after this one, let's say here import the use auth store from store auth okay now we need to create also the constant and i'm going to name it out 
stored, which is going to be equal with the use out store. And what we need here, we need to use this uh, handle login. And also, as you can see, we need, yeah, we call here the get token. So we are okay. Just in the form, we say here handle login, but we need to say out store dot handle login. We add a pointer to this one and login, but also we need to add the data because here we accept the data and we add the email as a data email and the password as a data password. So for that, let's say here, add the form we have created here and let's save that and let's see in the action. Refresh inspect the element, go to the console, okay, clear the cookies, okay, say test at example.com and add the password here, say login and yeah, we are directed back. Very good, everything in the console are okay. Now let's do the same thing for the register. First, we need to go to the application and in the cookies, we need to clear this up and the refresh. Okay, and let's work with the register now. Close this, open the register view and here we need also to move this handle register so let's cut this from here go to the auth store and create a new async action and also here we need the data because the name is going to say data dot name the same thing for the uh, email password and password confirmation so let's select them all and say uh, data email data password data password confirmation we are going to add that in the handler register and also we need to call the router by saying this dot router push here we need to remove this colon and also here we need to call the get token so let's copy and paste it here and I think we are okay now let's go in the register view remove the access because we don't need the use router we don't need here also this one we just need to import now the store and let's import the use auth store and here create a constant auth store like this which is going to be equal with use auth store and then in the form we need to say auth store dot handle register and we need to add the data here which is going to come from the form. Okay, the form we have here. And I think we are okay. Now let's go and try the register as well, a refresh. And let's say uh, Pina user and Pina at test.com, add the password. and say register and we redirected back. We have Pina here and Pinas dot at test.com. So everything okay, no errors in the console and we move the logic for the handle login and also for the handle register. We call the get token in the register and also the get token in the 
in the handle login and I think we are okay now. That's it about this video. So we moved the logic for the login and register in the store auth.js. If you like a content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video and see you in the next one, friends. All the best.